Maybe you've heard of Central America's most beautiful city, Antigua, Guatemala, surrounded by three active volcanoes and filled with rich Spanish colonial architecture with candy-colored walls. This town is one you cannot miss when you find yourself in Guatemala. After a dreamy stay in Lake Atitlan, I almost had to be pried away, but I knew Antigua was waiting for me after a three-hour journey. Yet again, I booked my journey with Guate Go and I was able to get the ticket for $25. And they kept us safe through rivers and the windy mountain road that takes you from Lake Atitalan to Antigua, Guatemala. I don't know if it was the motion of the car making me sick or something I had to eat, but my stomach was definitely not doing good. But when we arrived late in Antigua, I was able to rally to head to Frida's, an amazing Mexican restaurant located in the heart of Antigua with live music. up a little late but heading to try take some photos of the Santa Catarina gate in Antigua. Super excited to be here finally. It's so beautiful here in the morning. So just chill. Now the cars are coming though. I admired this arch and a lot of the Spanish colonial architecture that has stood the test of time in many earthquakes that have happened here. Hello from Oja Hostel, one of the best hostels in Antigua. It's located in a prime position five minutes away from that beautiful iconic arch that you always see. Plus it has such amazing decor. It's literally just so beautiful. Check this out. So every morning they have breakfast cooked to order. There will be coffee right behind me and they just have a beautiful lounge area that it almost makes you not want to even leave while you're here. So there's also a bar as well and a rooftop that's perfect for getting a view of the volcano that is located right really at Antigua Zorzat. But I'm definitely super excited to go more explore through Antigua, show you the colonial center and why this place has become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is a must when you come to Guatemala and it's hard to leave once you get here because it's so beautiful. There's amazing cafes, restaurants, history, you name it, it is here. And I will take you to some of my favorite spots while I am visiting Antigua. <laughs> It is a hostel, so there are dorm rooms, but the dorms are actually very comfortable. The beds have privacy curtains, and there's just very amazing attention to detail. Check out the roof and the ceilings molding. Then there's a beautiful bathroom with nice tiles, two sides, so there's two showers, and really, even during COVID, there are having less people in each hostel. There's also private rooms, too that are available and yeah, so this is one of the best hostels in Antigua and you should definitely check it out when you are in town. Antigua was founded in 1524 and one of my best tips when coming to this UNESCO World Heritage site is to simply walk around and take a tour with your eyes. Hello from the crypt of the Cathedral of Santiago. I went into the church, now I'm just in the bottom of one of the crypts and I'm going to check out the ruins of the old convent that was attached to this cathedral. It's definitely one of the top places to visit. If you are a national, it's 10 quetzales. If you're a foreigner, it's 20, which is around $3, but I think it's totally worth it. So let's go head upstairs and explore. Yes, so I was talking to one of the tour guides here and he was telling me about basically how they were getting 40 to 50 people, you know, per day individually to give tours of Antigua as well as like surrounding places. But now after COVID, it's like, you know, as you can see, I'm literally one of the only people here other than a few locals. And that's just really sad because a lot of these places really depend on our tourism. So when I hear stories about people that they said for months they were without a job, and I know that's a lot of the places of the world, this is just showing you that you know, people, if you have the vaccine, 
and you can travel safely, like people are wearing masks in Antigua, then you should definitely be coming here to visit because this place is open, it's beautiful, there's a lot of history, and they're taking this pandemic very seriously. So you can know that you're going to be as safe as you are able to be with the vaccine traveling and coming here to Antigua and Guatemala. I definitely recommend it. It's really beautiful and I hope you can experience this and help bring tourism back to Guatemala. Okay guys, welcome to something special. In December, they opened Bocetes, a nice 2D slash 3D cafe right in the center of historic Antigua. Check it out. Hello everybody from the Santa Clara convent. This place is definitely beautiful. I mean, look at this. A convent that has become since ruins that are one of the most photographed areas of Antigua. This spot is definitely worth your time. I've been having fun just exploring around every nook and cranny because this place is massive. So definitely be sure to come here and don't miss this place when you're in Antigua. Hello guys, this is the San Francisco Church in Antigua. It has been here since the 1500s. It survived earthquakes, you name it, and it's still standing today for you to come visit when you come to Antigua, Guatemala. I just got to explore some of the ruins as well as the inside of the church, but this is definitely one of the biggest churches that I've been to, especially in Guatemala. So it is definitely something to come see. So far, the engine is free, but I don't know. The ruins, they may charge you extra. But there's a little market in here. It's really closely located to Santa Clara Convent, so you don't have to walk that far when you're in Guatemala to see some amazing history. So definitely be sure to come here when you visit. The Church of San Francisco is free to enter. There is a museum and library here as well that has an entrance fee. So let's go check it out so we can see if it's worth it, which I think it will be. Okay, so the entrance to the cathedral, the ruins of San Francisco were Conjunto Momental de San Francisco El Grande, the ruinas and museum are $2, so around 15 quetzales. And it's still really beautiful as well. So I would come for $2 worth it. Here's some of the ruins. Good morning from the rooftop of Ojala Hostel. This place is primarily located in the center of Colonial Antigua and the historical center. And I am just so excited that they allow us to climb up on the roof, which is amazing at sunrise. And usually you can see the volcano over there. Yesterday, I'm so glad I woke up really early to fly my drone because I was able to get some amazing shots and see the city with the volcano looming in the background. But today I'm going to explore some different cafes. I may also go to a chocolate museum, coffee farm. I mean, the sky's the limit, honestly. I'm just kind of going with the flow. This place is perfect for digital nomads. I've been getting amazing work done and I'm just super excited to take you around more of Antigua today. When I visited, I met a lot of digital nomads on the road and got to explore a lot of oh, cafes, including the Artist Cafe, which had markets and was super cute. If you want to get more local, head to the Central Antigua Market, where you can find not only food, but also find clothing, 
toys, anything you need really. But we really enjoyed the local meals you could get freshly cooked there. All right, walking through the market. <coughs> she let us. What did you get? Pollo Milanesa. <laughs> Pollo <laughs> Milanesa. <laughs> Sounds like we're in Italy. <laughs> I like how Coca Cola is just in my everywhere. Here you check out the market. Head to Iglesia de la Marquette. It's one of the most picturesque churches in Antigua, and it's definitely worth a visit, as long as they're not hosting a service. Hello from the Convent de Capuchinas. I'm definitely saying that wrong, and that's like most things in Guatemala. I'm really horrible at pronunciation, but this place is too beautiful to not show you guys. This is the main entrance when you walk in after you pay 40 quetzales to enter and it is worth the price of entry for sure this place is beautiful and you walk from the moment you walk in and view all the little nooks and crannies of this place you will definitely see why because there's no signs or anything in english i have to technically google things afterwards but definitely come here when you visit it's literally near we chico and charlie so after i finished my hike for Vulcan Fuego in Acatenango. I came here and I'm super glad I did. Check it. Listen to the echo of this place. People come from all around the world to sing at this convent. You can hear it echo. It's definitely unique. Hello. After walking all around town, you're probably going to be pretty hungry. So head to Central Comercial La Fuente to check out a lot of different restaurants, cafes, and really just enjoy the courtyard area, which is beautiful. I found this place through people that were staying at Ojala Hostel. We grabbed lunch here before heading to Habitanango. Heading to Habitanango, I barely can pronounce it. But it's basically the Hobbit village of Antigua, very similar to very similar to the one they have in New Zealand. And this guy carrying his ring from Lord of the Rings, super fan here. <laughs> but yes, they have Uber here, which makes it very convenient to get around and easy. Uh, so this is about a 15, 20 minute drive from Antigua. And yeah. Just gonna explore the Hobbit Village and hopefully get some pretty good views of the town below and the volcano. Mistake number one, not bringing a jacket to high altitude mountain with these. And <laughs> mistake number two, wearing sandals when we're climbing a pretty steep terrain. <laughs> but it's all worth it because we're going to the Hobbit Village. <laughs> and there's pretty firm. <laughs> so we're just in Hobitanango and I found this really cute widget set. And we have all these beautiful little hobbit habitats now. And we're just exploring this land. But make a picture that you know the color. Okay. Usually people come to Hobitanango for the views, but there was a lot of fog and I almost crashed my drone, but we had an amazing time having photo shoots with my friends, Lord of the Rings ring, and people were still enjoying the attractions for sure. There are restaurants you can enjoy as well as shops and a lot of amazing places to take pictures. If you're looking for some nightlife, head to Las Palmas for dancing or Antigua Brewing Company for a live show. Each morning in Antigua, I had an amazing breakfast and coffee, so I knew I had to visit a coffee farm. Oh, the hotel's closed still? Actually, the farm was closed for 10 months. Yeah. And when do they think the hotel might open? We don't know yet. No? No. Uh, maybe soon. Uh, end of this year, probably. On the other side of the wall, Right here, that's the owner's house. They say like 200, 300 acres. Mm -hmm. you know. And this one's 800? This is 800 acres, so this is a large coffee plantation. So 
This is our coffee nursery. This is uh, six months old. How many people work here? Yeah, around 300 people. 300. Man and woman. Right here. <coughs> so we cultivate Laurina. It's a variety. The main species Arabica and then subspecies. This is Laurina. This is uh, Via Sarchi. There you go. I love it. This is <laughs> coffee. Disney World. More exactly. <laughs> yeah. So this is the mature plants. So first, Sarah, you get the flower. And then the flower dry and this is the coffee bean. Tiny ones, tiny buds. Mm. That's coffee right there, okay? So it's gonna start growing. Just the beginning, mm -hmm. all right? That's why you see flowers inside. And then it's gonna grow green and then yellow and then red. And it's time to harvest the coffee. Mm -hmm. How coffee. many years does that take? I said like to you, one year and a half. And then another two years. two years. So we talk about three and a half. Three and a half. And then start bearing. And then one harvest per year. Squeeze it right here. Whoa. Those are the coffee beans. It's two seeds inside a berry. Let me pick another one. Mm. It's two seeds. Those are the coffee beans. Whoa. So this is pulp. This one we use it for organic compost. Okay. But we use some to make coffee jelly. We sell coffee, coffee jelly. jelly. Yeah, I've okay. never heard of that. Yeah, so it's really good. If you want to taste the coffee you have, just uh, you can you can eat it. Eat it overnight. Mucilage. Mucilage. Is the yeah. juice? The juicy. Okay. Yeah. So it's sticky to the seeds. If you grab it, it's slippery. So we ferment it overnight. So after you ferment it, the sugar fall off, and then you wash it, and then after you wash the, the sugar, and then you dry it. Can coffee still be considered arabica? Oh yes. Just different grades, low different quality. Different grade. Correct. How is coffee graded? Uh, we sold in coffee. We yeah. select it. Picked by accident or in people who ripe in the bush and fall off. Mm -hmm. So we dry it separately. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one it was selected. Just the red ones. So. Ports all the countries around the world. It's green bean raw. Mm -hmm. So they roast themselves and they they brand it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The coffee is in Guatemala, we roast it every day and we sell it under our brand, which is Fin Coffee Dadenfina. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. To taste the coffee, you slur, you make noise. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> when you spray, it's stronger than the body. Mm -hmm. Sweet and balanced. That's medium roast. Medium roast. Medium roast. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then second seed, it's more balanced because you calibrate your palate. Mm -hmm. The first sip, it's, it's intense, but the yeah. second one, it's more flavorful. Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. okay. It tastes like 80% cacao okay? and, and sweet. Okay. Natural After visiting Finca Philadelphia, I headed to Earth Lodge to check out a restaurant as well as get some views of the volcanoes around. Hey guys, so I'm here at the Earth Lodge after I went to Finca Philadelphia, which was amazing to learn more about coffee. I came here and they have this beautiful lodge with a restaurant at the top overlooking Vulcan Fuego, Acantinengo, and Vulcan Agua. And they have a farm here for avocados, a sauna, tree houses. This place is a dream, check it out. Good morning everybody from Antigua. Today is my last day and I was woken up by such a beautiful sunrise as well as views of the three big volcanoes that surround Antigua. We have Akatenango, the volcano I climbed, and then Vulcan Fuego. You can see some smoke rise up because it just exploded again. But then here we have the beautiful Vulcan Agua. But yes, this place is so beautiful and my hostel here was amazing. Ohala, I love you so much. They have a rooftop, they have coffee in the morning, coffee in the afternoon, they have cookies, they have an amazing breakfast. 
and they have this beautiful view on their roof which has made the end of my stay in Antigua that much more special. So if you come here, please stay at Ohala. I cannot scream the praises high enough. I'm screaming from the rooftops, literally. And this place is just so beautiful. Antigua, no wonder why you're a UNESCO World Heritage site. From your churches and ruins to the beautiful views from the mountaintops surrounding you, I have had a memorable experience and I hope you will as well when you come to visit Antigua. So for now, I'm just going to fly my drone, hang out, and enjoy these beautiful views for my last hour in Antigua. If you enjoyed this, please hit like, subscribe, and comment what you want to learn more about Guatemala. And also, be prepared for next week's adventure, climbing Acatenango as well as Pacaya Volcano in Guatemala.